In this video, I will show you how to work the traveling slip stitch technique. This creates a textured stitch pattern that is used for our climb cushion. Today, I'm going to be using Wool and the Gang Shiny Happy Cotton in chalk yellow, a pair of 5mm knitting needles and a 5mm cable needle. Okay, let's get started. This technique is worked over a multiple of three stitches and is worked over a 12 row pattern repeat. For this swatch, I have cast on 30 stitches. Okay, so now we're going to work the first row. We're going to start by purling the first stitch. Then we're going to slip the second stitch purlwise onto the cable needle. We're then going to hold this at the front of the work. We're going to take the yarn behind the stitch and purl the next stitch from the left needle. Okay, now we need to take the yarn to the back of the work and we're going to slip the stitch from the cable needle purlwise onto the right needle. Now we're going to purl the next stitch. So now we're going to work those last three stitches again. So first we slip the needle purlwise onto the cable needle and we hold that at the front. Then we purl the next stitch. Then we take the yarn to the back of the work and slip the stitch from the cable needle onto the right hand needle. Next we're going to purl the next stitch. So now we have done two repeats of the pattern. So we're going to continue repeating those three stitches until we have two stitches left of the row. Okay, so now we've repeated those three stitches until we have two stitches left of the row. We're going to purl these last two stitches. Okay, and that's the first row finished. Now we're going to work the second row. The second row is a bit simpler and it doesn't require a cable needle. First, I'm going to knit three stitches. Okay, then we're going to purl the next stitch and then knit two stitches. So these three stitches make up our pattern repeat for this row. So we're going to purl and then knit two. So we're going to repeat these three to the end of the row. Now I'm going to work row three. This is our next cable row. For this row, we're going to purl the first two stitches. Next, we're going to slip the next stitch onto our cable needle. We're going to slip the stitch purlwise and we're going to hold it at the front of our work. Then we're going to purl the next stitch from the left needle. And then with the yarn at the back of the work, we're going to slip the stitch from the cable needle onto the right hand needle. We're going to purl the next stitch and then we're going to repeat these last three stitches to the end of the row. Okay, so now that we've repeated those three stitches to the end of the row, we've got one stitch left, which we're going to purl. Okay, now we're going to work row four. To start row four, we're going to knit two stitches. Then we're going to purl one stitch and knit two stitches. 
So these three stitches make up the pattern repeat. So we're going to purl one, then knit two. And we're going to keep repeating these until we have one stitch left of the row. So now we have one stitch left of row four, we're going to knit this stitch. And now we're ready to work row five. Row five is similar to rows one and three. So we're going to start by purling three stitches. Then we're going to slip our next stitch onto the cable needle as before. Then we're going to purl the next stitch. And then with the yarn at the back, we're going to slip the stitch from the cable needle onto the needle purlwise. We purl the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat those three stitches to the end of the row. Okay, so now we've finished row five. We're going to work row six, which is similar to rows two and four. First, I'm going to knit one stitch. Then we're gonna purl one stitch and knit two stitches. Again, these three stitches make up the pattern repeat for this row. So we're gonna purl the next stitch and knit two stitches. So we're going to keep repeating these until we get towards the end of the row. Okay, so we've repeated those three stitches and now we have two stitches left of the row. We're going to knit those two stitches. Okay, so that's row six done. As you can see, the diagonal line is really starting to show. For the next six rows, we're going to be working the diagonal line back towards the right. So for row seven, first we're going to purl three stitches. So now we're going to work our cable. So we're going to slip the next stitch purlwise, but instead of holding it at the front of the work, we're going to hold it at the back. Now, we're going to slip the next stitch purlwise onto the right needle. And then we're going to purl the stitch from the cable needle and then we're going to purl the next stitch. So these three stitches now make up our new repeat. So we slip the next stitch purlwise and hold it at the back of the work. Then we slip this stitch purlwise onto the right needle and then purl the stitch from the cable needle. And then purl the next stitch. So I'm going to repeat these three stitches towards the end of the row. So now we've repeated those three stitches, we have one stitch left. We're going to purl this stitch. And now we're ready to work row eight. Row eight is the same as row four. So first I'm going to knit two stitches. Then we're going to purl one stitch followed by two knit stitches. And we're going to repeat these three stitches. So 
So now we've repeated those three stitches. We have one stitch left of the row. We're going to knit this stitch. And now we're ready to work row nine. So we're going to start by purling the first two stitches. And then in the same way as before, we're going to slip the next stitch onto the needle purlwise and hold it at the back of the work. Then we're going to slip the next stitch onto the right needle and then purl the stitch from the cable needle. Then we're going to purl the next stitch and we're going to repeat these three stitches. So we slip the next stitch onto the cable needle, slip the next stitch onto the right hand needle, and then pull the stitch from the cable needle, and pull the next stitch. Okay, so we've repeated those three stitches and now we have one stitch left of the row. We're going to purl this stitch. And now we're going to work row 10. So we're going to start by knitting three stitches. This is the same as row two. So we're going to purl one stitch, then knit two stitches. And we're going to repeat these three stitches right to the end of the row. Okay, so now we've finished row 10, we're going to work row 11. This is our final cable row. We're going to start by purling one stitch, and then we're going to slip the next stitch onto the cable needle and hold at the back of the work. Then we're going to slip the next stitch onto the right needle and purl the stitch from the cable needle and then purl the next stitch. So we're going to repeat these three stitches again. So we're going to continue repeating these three stitches until we have two stitches left of this row. Okay, so now we have two stitches left. We're going to pull these two stitches. And now we're ready to work row 12. This is the final row of the pattern repeat. We're going to start by knitting four stitches. Then we're going to pull the next stitch and then knit two stitches. As before, we're going to repeat these stitches until we have just two stitches left of the row. So now we have two stitches left of the row. We're going to purl one stitch and then knit the last stitch. And there you go. That's one repeat of the traveling slip stitch. If you want to carry on, you simply repeat these 12 rows until your piece is the length that you want. So once you've worked a few repeats for your pattern, it should start to look like this. You can see the first six rows lean to the left and then the next six lean to the right. And this is what makes up your 12 row repeat. Thank you for watching.